There he is, everyone! We've been waiting for you. Eric already told us about everything. Can't open the gate to the Ben Tower without all four Spectral Keepers, can we? I'm just not sure if we still count as Spectral Keepers if we lost our Spectral Familiars. Quit your yammering! Each one of us has made it here, through the most dangerous areas of the Sanctuary. We are the ones who are willing to do anything it takes to save the Sanctuary. If not us, do you think that scoundrel who stole our familiars through trickery and subterfuge deserves to be called a Spectral Keeper? Nay, I refuse to believe that. Surely nobody will deny that we remain the true Spectral Keepers of the Sanctuary. Huh, maybe you're right. Let's try to open the gate so we can find out for sure. We need that key of power you found in the Underworld to open it. I really hope Leonard is right, otherwise I don't have a clue how we get into the abandoned tower. I'm excited to see those monsters that live in the abandoned tower. They should be among the rarest of the sanctuary. Insert the key of power now. We are ready to face the monsters of the abandoned tower as well as the alchemists waiting inside. We really did it! We opened the gate to the abandoned tower! So we are still Spectral Keepers in spirit, I suppose. Spectral Keepers, finally I found you! I risked my hide getting here. Oof. What happened? You're the Jailkeeper, aren't you? That I am. Although I didn't do a good job being one. Here's what happened. I was watching over those two alchemists you had caught, as is my duty. But suddenly, it was like a smoke bomb exploded and enveloped the entire jail and its surrounding areas. And before I even had a chance to call for help, I heard the alchemist cell opening and the alchemist escaping. At first I tried to find that Keeper Dragoon Eric, but nobody seems to know where he is. The last time we saw him was when the gate to the Underworld was opened. Strange. I hope he's alright. Anyway, you did a good job informing us. Please keep looking for Eric and let him know that we opened the Abandoned Tower. The Abandoned Tower? Alright, I'll do my best. Let me just catch my breath for a moment. I guess we'll be seeing those two alchemists again in the Abandoned Tower. Seems like just about the entire Order of Alchemists is waiting for us. No matter. Our battle plan stays the same. Let's try to stick close to each other as we explore the tower. Follow me! Later, dudes. This is it. If we defeat those Alchemists, you, Will, Leonard, and Julie will become legends among the Keepers of the Monster Sanctuary. Let's do our best to go down as heroes in the history books. I can't believe that the path to the Bandit Tower has been opened, let alone that you folk want to go in there. So much for sticking close. Everything I meet is probably going to be level 39 or higher, and I'm not sure it's, an, it's, it's, it's an important part of the game feature. I would prefer if the game didn't have it. Now the way the level scaling works in this game is it depends on how many areas you've explored. So the more you explore, the stronger the enemies will be. Within reason. For example, if you didn't explore certain areas of the newbie map, you would never you should never be able to find a level 40 monster there. And that being said, if you like went to an in-game zone, there's probably like a minimum level there too. If you don't explore carefully, you could end up hurting yourself. With that being said, just be thorough in your exploration. Don't just wander around willy-nilly and like a headless chicken. So I haven't had an issue with it, but there are plenty of people in the Steam forums that that are very unhappy with. Why is there a grappling hook there? Let's try it, but I don't think I'm going to get anything out of it. Okay, I guess I pulled that down. Alright. So, for example, um... That looks like it might lead on to more more branching stuff, so we'll, we'll check this out real fast. It's probably also more branching stuff. So that is something that you need to be aware of, is just be conscious that the enemy will develop in stats as you explore the game. Now, that being said, 
it makes more sense that the enemy doesn't just sit there and do nothing, and, and that your gaming experience can be different depending on how you choose to explore. I'm just not particularly fond of, of enemies getting stronger. I like the idea that I can, can get stronger than an enemy through, through, through effort, rather than that they get stronger with me. Oh, great. Leaving an egg. So yeah, it's probably better off staying with the route on the right. Uh, oh, no, they all lead the same. All roads lead to Rome. But yeah, since I pretty much explored the entire game, the enemy should be consistently level 40 or near it. They might be higher, though, because you can you can fight higher level enemies in the in Infinity Tower. I was trying to figure out if there's a different way you could get yourself locked in. Someone's gotta have fire. I guess this is supposed to be a rehash of your abilities, because I, I would figure that anybody getting this far is gonna have some of those abilities. Maybe not blob form. But that's why I said some. I also missed that box. Bouncing against that. I guess that hitbox is bigger than it looks. Alright, alright, we'll deal with these guys then. So I guess once I get a big enough crew, I will combine the blob, Berg monsters, troll, and the plague egg to form a new team just for playing around purposes. But for the time being, I, I know I've used these guys a bit. These are the latest, latest, um, what do you call it? Latest area monsters. Blobberg was really a bonus area. Um, and it didn't really feature a whole new set of monsters. It featured uh, the crown, the King Blob, which I have not evolved one yet. Um, the Rainbow Blob, the Changeling. Now these are mystical workshop monsters. And while they feel like they've been around forever, that's because that it was a bit of time between patches. Typically what I do is I 
bring out monsters from the latest area just to play around with them and kind of change things up a bit. Wow, that was uh, just, just a mass potion, huh? I was hoping there'd be something. I mean, that, that there, there, there's a perfect amount of space on the map for one extra room. What's up, dude? Crazy to think that it was only thanks to those champion monsters that we could catch up with Leonard and Julia. The alchemists have caused a lot of damage, but it also allowed us to rise to the challenge. Also, we probably never would have ended up exploring the abandoned tower. This is a historic moment for sure. I'm glad that I could be part of this adventure alongside you and the others. Thank you for everything. Do you have anything else to say? I'm guessing, I guess I should probably explore the other side then. Also, how do I get in here? See any clue? Oh, button right here. Kind of figured I'd have to press it, but I wanted to see. I, I like, I like seeing what the exact specific triggers are. Yeah, let's let's check out this region first, though. That's not a flying creature. Hmm. Oh, okay. Not sure I've ever encountered a walkable wall like that before. In the game, this is. That in this game that is. forget can magic miss no yeah obviously I see the percentages right there never mind As usual, I will farm monster eggs and items off screen. Well, off camera. That is my term for um, doing stuff with that I'm not recording.
Alright, what's the... You're a lightning monster. You'll notice that I'm always doing that. <laughs> well, that's because back in the old NES days, there was generally no hint that the pit was sudden death, or not. And most of the time, it was sudden death. Except, like, the very few times there's an actual bonus inside. So, we'll say 9 out of 10 times it was just a death trap. But that one last time was... the, the, the game expected you to, to do that. I guess that was not enough. More blocks? Yeah, there's more blocks. Lennon! <laughs> how those things work now. Huh? It's just each, each of those doors requires two triggers and I happen to have hit both both of them the first time. Alright, we're pretty much smoothly moving along here. That's my single target at. Oh well. It's fine. Just between you and me, I feel afraid. Not afraid of losing against another one of the Alchemists, but more afraid of facing my brother again. I just wish that things hadn't gone the way they did. Never mind. There's nothing else to do now but press on and face our destiny. Like this! Uh, actually, okay. The um, game does want me to go that way. Alright. Might not have the flying ability I needed for this one. Is there like a super flying or am I just not making that jump? Try one more time. Whoops. I, wrong button. But I... <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, let's open a monster journal and see what kind of new attributes these, these monsters have. Secret vision materializes invisible platforms. Okay. That's probably the pink thing, though. Probably not this. Okay. Greatly levitates the player, but that's also what I'm using right now, isn't it? Yeah, greatly levitates the player. Alright. Guess we will come back to that one in a bit. It's a race. Probably. Ah. I got hitched up on that one. There we go. Hey, 
you notice anything strange so far about the abandoned tower? We've already covered more than half of the tower. I've had a look ahead at the next couple of rooms. And still, none of us have found any trace of that alchemist so far. The entire place seems to be, well, abandoned. Do we actually know for sure that Marduk and the other alchemists are here? Where do we know that from? You know it from a most reliable source. Me! <laughs> alchemists! I knew it! You were actually following us, weren't you? You have our deepest gratitude for opening up the abandoned tower for us. You were using us all along? That's right. All it took was a simple lie. <laughs> Marduk isn't in the tower, is he? He never was. But where has he been for all that time? Nobody's seen him in the sanctuary for hundreds of years. Wrong. It's been hundreds of years since I've worn my true face. Eric? No, you're not really Eric. <laughs> you figured it out! The man you've been calling Eric, whom you thought to be a Keeper Dragoon, was actually our leader, Marduk. But how? Eric was an accomplished monster keeper who has been known to the Sanctuary for his entire life. Twenty-three years ago, I ambushed Eric while he was traveling in the Magma Chamber. Given the territory, it was easy to dispose of his body. I then used an ancient, forbidden alchemical method to take on his appearance and voice, just as I had done with many other monster keepers for the last 300 years. The best mask is the one that nobody suspects. The frozen Oracle called you an undying devil. We see now that she wasn't exaggerating at all. As a spectral familiar, one of the immortal guardians of the sanctuary, I swear to you that you will pay for what you've done. You can't stop us now. In fact, you've only helped us so far. Ostinus, Thelalar, Kimes, take care of these two. Zosimos, come with me. Hey, not so fast. Don't go running off now. <laughs> I'm itching for a fight against another Spectral Keeper. We won't let you pass without a fight either. Isn't that right, Ostinus? Huh? Oh, that's right. This time, you have to face both of us at the same time. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Let's deal with these two quickly. We don't know what the true goals of Mardu are, but we have to stop him. Sure, okay, I mean... Do I need to look at this? Uh, they don't really look like anything special, I'm just gonna rush it. All strategies are useless in the face of overwhelming firepower. Arcane Barrage. I always forget that. I always forget that um, our grave does not have enough mana for this. Alright, let's just finish this one off. I know well the power of the Cat Circer, which is why I was going to single target him.
22. Okay. He can, he can thunderstorm this. Alright, if it crits, it will kill him. But, well, actually, I shouldn't risk it. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's, conf let's get a confirm kill on this one. It's only 13. It's hard to see the number with so the That's why I flickered it the previous map or previous round. Fifteen, you're dead. What? How could this happen, Austinus? I had the perfect strategy. Hey, it's not my fault. I did my part perfectly. Hey, looks like we missed the action. Did you defeat both of them, Trey? We did, but that's not important right now. We've been deceived. Over 20 years ago, Marduk took on the appearance and identity of Eric, and he used us to open the abandoned tower. The alchemists weren't waiting in the tower, they just followed us inside. Unbelievable! Marduk used our trust against us! Bad news! I'm still trying to process how it happened, but I also lost against Kimes. That means he's got my familiar now, too. That makes it three. That ruthless villain of a brother! I'm sorry for your loss, Julia. I know exactly how it feels. No matter. We need a new plan. Will? You and I should put these two alchemists away again. Once we've done that, we'll come back here as fast as possible. Sounds good. Let's go. You could just throw them off the tower? That will scout ahead again. It's not like I have much else to lose now anyway. Don't worry. I know we will all get our spectral familiars back. The alchemists don't have anywhere to run now. She's right. All we can do now is to keep following this path to the top of the tower. No doubt we'll have to face Kimes along the way as well. Don't worry about me. I know that you're a remarkable monster keeper. Our journey together has shown me that. If there's anyone who can defeat him, it's you, the player. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go back and explore the other path then. The pit says apparently this was the right way. Alright. 